So, I'm gonna attempt some color correction, color grading with Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm not an expert at it, I'm not that good at it. So I've been kind of learning as I go. So hopefully what I've learned is something that will help you guys as well. Oh, before I get started, I do want to just talk about my process a little tiny bit. All right, so first of all, uh, what I like to do is kind of follow the tabs along the top here that Adobe offers. So assembly, then editing, then color effects, blah, blah, blah. And what that does is it keeps things more organized and it actually sort of optimizes your workflow for each of those things. So the first thing is assembly. First of all, I put the video clips in order um, that I want and then I you know, cut, cut them together. Um, and then I go to editing, which allows me to look at things like the pacing of the video, whether I want to speed it up or slow it down and position and scale and all that. Um, the next is color, which is what we're talking about mostly today. And in color, the workspace that I like to have up here is I like to keep the Lumetri scopes up. And in the Lumetri scopes, um, I like to keep three scopes in particular up at a time. We have the waveform Luma. And so there's a couple waveform types. One's RGB, which kind of gives you um, the mixture of color across the full spectrum. The other is Luma, which is basically uh, whites and blacks. So um, what we're looking to do is keep sort of an even spread here between 100 and zero. So if we're going way off the top, like you can see the blue is way off the top here, uh, we, we might want to uh, bring that down a bit to uh, keep it in that range. That way we have a good color balance. And then this bottom scope here, the vector scope. So um, the vector scope basically mimics the color wheel over here. So you can kind of see where your image colors are in the range of that vector scope. Um, you want this to be more uniform than spread out like it is. So anyway, so that's kind of the long and short of it there. All right, and then on the right, we have the Lumetri color. So under, we have a couple different places that we could look. So basic correction basically allows us to do exposure, contrast, highlights, etc. And then curves, which is where I like to sort of start, gives us the master here, which affects all of the layers. Then we have red, green, and blue, which affects just those layers. So you can see this Lumetri scope over here, the Luma one. As I adjust this, oh, let's see. Oh, let's go to this. Let's go to this clip. All right, let's go. Let's undo what I did. All right. So as I adjust this, you can see that the Lumetri scope on the left is adjusting as well. So we want to keep it above zero, and we want to keep it below for the most part. All right, so that is thing one. I think on this particular clip, um, I may just leave it as is. Maybe I'll go in here and up the shadows a little bit, just because my face is a little bit um, in shadow. Uh, but yeah, it probably would be necessary to do that. What I really wanna do is jump over to the drone footage the drone footage is um, shot in D-Log, which means that there's a bit of correction that needs to happen in order for it to look good. So you can see that we're sort of toward the upper end of the scale here. So we want to bring that down. Oh, hold on. Bring this in maybe, yeah. There we go. So now we're spreading that balance more broadly across the spectrum from this zero to 100. And now we can see blue is really high, so we can switch to blue here and sort of bring that down a bit. That's pretty decent. And green is up there a little bit. Let's try to bring that down just a tad. So you can see we're still a little off the top, but I think we're 
that's looking better. Let's try to bring it down even more. And then let's bring the red down. All right, so now we have the colors are spread a little bit more evenly across the spectrum. So now we can, um, whoops, let's not do that, that's not what I was going for. Um, now we can increase contrast a little bit maybe. Um, increase some of the saturation. And let's see. I like to bring my whites up so it gives it kind of a crisper look. Um, and I still feel like it's a little blue. Let's try to bring that blue down a little more. Come on, blue. Yeah, the upper end of the blue to come down a bit. Come on, blue. All right, so now we're getting a pretty nice color composition there. We can always do minor adjustments to temperature with this up here. Makes it sort of easy to adjust. Now, what you, now you can see I have a bunch of different clips here and they all probably would require a somewhat similar color correction. So what I can do is instead of just applying it to this one clip here, I can go create a new item and I'm going to create an adjustment layer. And what that does is allows me to drag this across all of these drone clips and then I can copy that paste my attributes. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so now I'm going to remove them from here. All right, so now um, that I've applied it to the adjustment layer, it's going to apply across all of the scenes, that same setting. So that's a quick and easy way to sort of apply your color correction to all of your clips at once without having to adjust them each individually, which works really well as long as you have fairly similar, uh, similarly composed clips. So now that uh, the color is, is more corrected, I can go in here and tweak the settings on the adjustment layer and it will apply to all of them. Now you may still find that the individual clips need some more adjustment. There may be some clips that are a little bit different tone or hue than others, just depending on how the sun was hitting your clip as you were shooting it. So you can still go into these individual clips. Um, so let's say this one I think is a little bit too warm or something. You can still go to that individual clip and adjust that one. And um, it'll only apply to that clip and it will basically add that to the adjustment layer setting. So that's kind of simple, I know, uh, but typically between these curves here, between the, the master red, green, and blue, I can sort of get my Lumetri scope in the range of between this sort of zero to 100 and my brightness, white, whites and blacks, I guess, scope in that same range pretty easily and then I can do some minor adjustments like contrast and white uh, you know enhancing the whites and things like that through the, this basic correction up here and that usually gives me uh, what I need to make these adjustments so I hope that's helpful this is pretty simple tutorial um, and this again follows the camera settings that I showed in the last video um, and with those D-Log camera settings and then coming in here and making these sort of adjustments, you get a really nice, clean composition. The colors are really true. And again, this is shot with a, in D-Log, it's shot with a ND filter on. So even though it was a really bright sunny day, you can see that the sky and the building and the grass all are pretty evenly exposed and you can see that um, that 
that great color coming through. If I were to shoot this with auto white balance and with auto shutter speed, I would have a much more challenging time getting all of this to mesh because it would be such, so varied. The video would have one sort of color tone here, another color tone there. Um, the sky would be completely blown out, washed out. So there's a lot of benefit here in shooting in D-Log with manual settings and then coming in post-production and making these color changes. Anyway, hope that was helpful. Thank you guys for watching and please come back. Let me know if there's any other sort of tutorials you'd like to see. And until next time, keep it real guys.